Hey guys, Mason here from the Carter Bros back in Hit Film for Express for another tutorial. So today I'm going to be showing you all of the things in for the lightning effect in Hit Film. This is great if you want to create maybe a Harry Potter wand effect or just lightning coming down from the sky. It would make a really cool effect and it looks very realistic, which is obviously a bonus that you want. Uh, let me just go ahead and delete them and to jump right in, I'm in a composite shot. It can be any thing it can be any re resolution it can be any screen and you just want to hit effects and we can search the lightning effect i've already searched it up and we can just drag we want to create a new layer we can call it whatever we like let me just call it lightning because you can only drag it into a layer a plane or um the video itself i believe we drag and drop the lightning effect in and from here we have many options like we can move this around I will make another video on how I made a wand effect, just not in this video because it will go on a bit and it will make the video much longer than necessary. So really for the lightning, that's really the lightning effect. But obviously I'm get I I will now I will now show you how to customize this effect because by itself it can't be very good. It it doesn't look the greatest. You can make it look much better. So in another video, not right now, you can simply create a point and parent it to the lightning to the plane and you it will track it will follow the point so that is very useful but that's not this video it will go on a bit again like i'm saying so what we want to go now is in our controls panel we have the lightning effect opened up we can simply edit this we can edit the start and like and this is where we can use the layer we can use the layer let me just show you quickly it will probably help some of you guys out let me just create so when we have a new point open, we can simply add position. And so we want it to start here. Okay, now we move up. Let me just move up a couple frames and move it here. Then let me move a few more frames and that should be good. So now I have moved these a bit. Um, we can simply in the controls for the lightning plane, we can at the start, we can use layer new point and it's going to follow that point. Like you can see now, it is moving and it doesn't just move immediately. It has a very smooth transition, which is very useful. So like you can see this, you could track this. You could either track this. I don't use the tracking effect. I'm not 100% sure in using it yet. I've never actually thought of looking at it. And then, but the option that I use is by following the uh, point. So then we can track that to maybe a wand or just if you want some sort of lightning coming out somewhere. Um, and then that's really the start. You can do the exact same thing for the end. So let me just close that down. And then you have branches. You can s select the quantity of branches. As you can see, the more we add, the crazier it gets. Sometimes you might want not want any or maybe just one or two. Like what, maybe two can sometimes look pretty cool. And then we can have the rotation, which changes the way the branches rotate. I normally have them like out in this sort of position. And we have many other options as well that we don't need to get into them all, but we have the number of twigs. We have like the twigs coming off each branch. We have the twig scale and maximum positions and minimum positions and many other options that there's quite a lot honestly <laughs> that I won't get into right now then we have the core we can change the color of this so obviously we have this selection tool where we can select a core and something for the core like you can see that looks pretty cool I wouldn't actually mind that for an effect so we have that we can just or we can select it here and choose a color that we would like like we might want that looks pretty cool and then we have the opacity we can change that the opacity makes it more dull if you have it on zero you won't be able to actually see that color and then if you have it on 100 it's very bright i normally settle it between 50 normally around that sort of level depending on how bright i want then we have the feather that's just basically blending it in um like you can see at zero it's not blended at all now we can move into glow we click on this and you can change the color of the glow. The glow is the outer bit. So we, of course we can use the selector tool where we can select maybe want it to be black. If it's black, you can't actually see it. But then we can just adjust this using this tool here. 
Um, or we can simply click on here like we did before and change it to any color we would like. So that's that bit, and then we can move into the animation. Not exactly that smaller, just the speed speed you want it to rotate. If you have it on zero, it's going to stay still, which don't think that would make the best effect, honestly. And if you have it on two, it moves very fast. Same thing with jitter and scale, just to a different sort of looking a bit different. Then the main features for the lightning effect, there is an infinite variety of things you can do in the lightning effect alone. Never mind in Hit Film for Express is mate is mega like there are so many things that you can do. That is really the end of this tutorial. Um so if you enjoyed it, like why not leave a like? It's no harm done. It's just helping me with the channel. Uh, or even subscribe if you're not already subscribed. It helps me even more, like you don't really get how much I like, like how much I enjoy it when new people are subscribing. So that's the end of this video. If you enjoyed, then leave a like and subscribe like I just said. And comment if you want any other videos. I'll try and upload them within a day or so. That is the end of this video. I will see you next time. Bye.